1993, Zimmerman won a huge automotive national brand for the United States. Our biggest hit ever. And I had thought we made it. $40 million piece of business. The, they were selling about 136,000 vehicles at that time. A lot of cars. By 1997, we were selling 252,000 vehicles. The CEO of the company who ran America was getting ready to retire. And he hired his replacement. And when he came to see me, halfway through the meeting, he said, look, you're really not my choice. You're my predecessor's choice. And he said, I'm not sure I'll be able to work with you. Life is not fair. Doesn't matter how hard you work or how successful you are for the people you work with. If they want to make a change or you don't connect with them, they're going to make that change. And that is a great life lesson that I learned at a very young age. That Friday night, I was fired through a fax machine. Shocking. Disturbing. And I took it and I folded it up and put it in my pocket and told nobody in the agency. I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I was fearful for all these great people that helped me build the company, what could happen to them. Friday night was a terrible night. Saturday morning was even worse. I had sorrow. I was feeling sorry for myself. By Saturday night, I said, I'm not going to let this man rob me of my dream. And I would ask you, never allow anyone to rob you of your dream, no matter what happens. Monday morning, I walked into the office. I made a copy of the letter. I was proud. I put it out and I said, we have done a terrific job building this brand. But we were terminated. I take full responsibility for this. Full responsibility. Everyone looked at me and I said, let me tell you what I want to do. Do not pay me. I don't deserve anything. I'm going to go on the road and I'm not coming back till I pick up 40 plus million dollars worth of business as long as it takes and I will pay for everything myself. But I bought you a book over the weekend. It was by David Blancher. It's called Gung Ho. I want you to give everybody in the agency a copy of the book and I want them to all understand I am going out to save this company. And I want every one of them to get paid. The only person that's not is me. They just looked at me in shock and I said, I could sit here and lie to you all and make excuses, but I say excuses are lies we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better. Three and a half months later, I showed back up at Zimmerman Advertising with $42 million worth of business. Perseverance, thank you. Perseverance is the key to success. If you dream it, if you live it, if your passion is alive inside, anything, anything is possible. I built it from 10,000 to 4 billion and you can too.